So, how am I doing this month? Well, uh, today is uh, September the uh, 12th, according to this um, data sheet, and it's the month is not even halfway over. And uh, basically, I'm up to $239 based on the videos I've done. I've started this month by taking criticism for the things that I said about the Acura TLX. Regardless what the fanboys think, I stand by everything I said about the car. While the interior um, infotainment system was definitely cleaner than it was in the TL, the TLX, in my opinion, is an upgrade only if you had a TSX before. But it feels like a downgrade if you are a TL owner. So the Acura fanboys gave me a lot of hell over that, but suddenly most of the comments you know, surrounding the TLX review disappeared as I moved on to my next trolling event. The iPhone 6 5.5 inch and the iPhone 6 regular will be released this Friday, and I'll be picking mine up. And uh, basically I'm extremely excited, so excited, that uh, I ended up on YouTube making videos trolling the Galaxy series, which I have absolutely no respect for since it's a bunch of clone copy ripoffs of uh, everything that Apple's been doing. Just because you one up Apple by adding one feature or one bit or piece that the Apple device that you copied didn't have doesn't necessarily mean you have a better device. In my opinion, all it means is that you copied. Once again, it's similar to choosing a Kia K900 over a Mercedes E-Class simply because the K900 has 52 spark plugs and the Mercedes E-Class only has 43. It's absolutely asinine. But I'm not um, making this short little video clip to talk about uh, old shit. I'm actually talking about an upcoming event that some of you have been uh, questioning me about and some of you have been looking online about. The release of the Alibaba Group IPO. Basically, what you'd be investing in if you decide to put any money into Alibaba is a more free network in China. What you'd be investing in is basically China's answer to Google because as you know, China is very totalitarian about their internet and uh, they don't like having uh, internet uh, service providers that are able to say anything that they want about China's uh, government or, you know, the PRC government. So uh, basically, when China decides they, they can shut down the entire internet and people ha have no access to Gmail and Google and this, that, and other Google services. Um, basically, the uh, Alibaba IPO is supposed to be valued in between $60 and $70. I, after looking into it, I plan on getting into this IPO, and I suggest that any of you with Trade or ING Direct accounts consider doing the same thing. Once again, it is an investment. I'm only notifying you that it's about to happen. Um, you know, if you choose to get in on it, you can. I, you know, recommend no minimum. I recommend no maximum. But all I'm going to say is I am personally getting in on Alibaba with $1,000 regardless what the uh, offering that I can grab is as soon as they open up. Some of you got in on Facebook, some of you got in on Twitter after they did their IPO. Some of you um, made, uh, what is it called? Some of you made profits, some of you didn't because some of you panicked when uh, Facebook started going down. Some of you panicked when Twitter started going down. However, this Alibaba, there's a real chance that this might be one of the biggest companies since, maybe since Apple, since Google. This is something that you definitely want to consider getting on. You have until Thursday to even have a chance to trade in on it. So what I suggest you do is do some research, look into it. If you feel you got a couple of bucks, I don't know if you go casino gambling or whatever, but take the money that you normally would spend and waste on a pair of fucking sneakers or spend on and waste in a casino, take that money that you would normally dispose of, you know, in recreation, and I recommend that you get it on this IPO. So do your research. I'm risking a thousand bucks as soon as possible. Do your research, and I really think that you should get in on this. You can thank me later.